it's a harmonica tutorial and well I want to talk about a technique I invented myself um, at least I think I invented it it's possible someone beat me to it and I just never heard of them and the technique involves tongue blocking in the traditional sense and then changing the direction of your tongue blocking in order to achieve large jumps in your melody faster than you'd be able to do it otherwise so way back before I ever discovered like Howard Levy and Carlos Del Hunco, um, I was sort of playing with a chromatic harmonica. I suppose I must have been aspiring towards uh, Stevie Wonder. Um, but I, my main instrument was still the diatonic harmonica. I was just picking up the chromatic for certain things. Uh, I was trying to learn Billy's Bounce. And I realized that the jumps in the melody were way too big and way too fast. And at the time, well, I still am a right-handed tongue blocker. Uh, it's just what the instructions that came with my first harmonica said. Here's how to play one note at a time. It's tongue blocking. So I adopted this tongue blocking technique as a fairly standard. Um, <clears throat> but then I realized to get Billy's bounce, I was going to have to learn how to left tongue block just for an instant. Um, and I was doing it on chromatic harmonica at the time, but nevertheless, you have to um, flick the direction of your tongue blocking to get that. <laughs> That's how you tongue block Billy's bounce. Um, and so, in learning how to do that, I developed a new technique, and I, c I don't think I can even play Billy's bounce these days. I could probably fuss my way through it. <clears throat> but I started doing that tongue blocking technique to get those big jumps in the melody. And I started to think of myself as a chicken picker. And I just, I started to do these. <clears throat> and it just unlocked my country game on the harmonica like you wouldn't believe. <clears throat> now, um, if you're good at doing those things, you could easily do it way too much. And if you want to play licks like that without changing the direction of your tongue blocking, it's just going to be way slower. I can't even do it really. Maybe lip blocking. I'm not really a lip blocker, um, but you could probably make it work if you, as, uh, as I learned on a Buddy Green interview with Howard Levy, uh, you can... It's like you're eating corn on the cob, mm -mm 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 -mm. but uh, still not as good of jumping around as the double tongue blocking. Now, I didn't invent uh, two-sided tongue blocking in harmonic situations. Um, <clears throat> Howard Levy and, as far as I know, Carlos Del Hunco as well, maybe more people, who knows, can play two different lines on the harmonica as long as both notes are in the same breath direction at the same time, and you can make nice counterpoint songs that way. Many harp players and non-harp players alike will know you can change the shape of your tongue. Uh, you have a fat tongue, uh, you have a pointy tongue. Uh. And this is the technique that I used in a rendition of the hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. can find my full version of that on YouTube. So I certainly didn't invent two-sided tongue blocking. If anything, I just dialed it back a little bit. So it's two-sided tongue blocking in a melodic context instead of a harmonic context. A harmonic harmonica context. And again, just because I haven't heard of anyone else doing that doesn't mean that nobody's done it before. Some of the Chicago players come pretty close with their... With their um, you know, just the, the flutter of the tongue, but to my knowledge, nobody uses it in a melodic context.
Or you could employ two-sided tongue blocking and mix it up as to whether you're right and left tongue blocking at the same time or alternating times. So if you want to take your harmonica playing to the next level, teach yourself whatever side of tongue blocking you don't already use and uh, you'll be able to do all kinds of crazy melodic jumps. And, and if you want, you can also learn up on the Howard Levy style of uh, melo uh, harmonic two-sided tongue blocking. I have a lot of fun doing that on alternate tunings of harmonica, minor harmonicas and so on. And besides, if you are a tongue blocker like me and you're completely one-sided for many years at a time, it might start to get bad for your neck and your jaw. You might get tight and lopsided and out of alignment. So it'll be good for you to try for a while. Just teach yourself to tongue block on the other side. So I spent some time playing a lick on the right side of my tongue. And then I would try to mimic it with the left side of the tongue. Still kind of crappy at left tongue blocking but from there if you're pretty good at both sides of tongue blocking you, it's pretty straightforward you can just flick it to the other side uh, if you need a big jump in the melody my name's james anderson thanks for tuning in to technical tutorial tuesdays i'm a harmonica player i'm still working on the whole actually getting music out there thing but you know i'm it, if you stay tuned, I'm going to try to shoot for a track a week on Saturdays. Um, I'm accepting students. I'm accepting session work. I'm accepting a million dollars. Thank you very much. See you next. Emission.